Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. Right now you're watching our video comparison between the Nokia Lumia 1520 and the Google Nexus 5. If affordability is more your kind of thing, you're gonna absolutely love what these two things bring to the table just because they're very aggressive in their approach. Now one handset, it's geared towards the on-contract side, whereas the other one, you can pick up very cheap without a contract. Best of all, these two handsets don't skimp out on the hardware. They're blessed with the latest and greatest, most cutting edge hardware out there and you're gonna really like what they have to offer so let's get started with this comparison right now this one's pretty much a no-brainer just because there's an edgier style with the Lumia 1520 so its design definitely stands out more than the Nexus 5 part of that reason is because the Lumia 1520's casing is a lot more sturdy it just feels more solid than the plastic in use with the Nexus 5. On top of that, the tapered cutouts really gives it a really refined look for something so massive. It really is nice that it's super sleek. And on top of that, it's also available in a wide array of different colors, so there is more variety with it. It's not to say that the Nexus 5 is an ugly looking phone. It's very humble with its design approach, and of course that's because of its price point. But it's really nice that the matte finish gives it a very nice clean look. And on top of that, it just feels a lot better in the hand just because it's more compact. Having that reputation of being affordable phones, it's nice that they're packing some really sharp looking displays. They both rely on IPS LCD technology, and they both employ 1080p resolution. Obviously, the biggest differentiator between them is the size of their displays and with the Lumia 1520, it really gets our attention with its massive 6-inch panel. Whereas with the Nexus 5, it chimes in with a 5-inch display. On paper, the Nexus 5 has the advantage when it comes to details just because it has the higher pixel density count of 445 pixels per inch. But when we look at the Lumia 1520 and its 368 pixels per inch pixel density, it's still really good. They both exhibit a lot of detail and clarity. So even fine text from a normal distance, it's almost indistinguishable to find out which of the two is superior. See that they rely on IPS LCD technology. There's a lot of similar elements to them. They have some good viewing angles, though we notice more of a hazing going on, distortion with the Nexus 5 at wide angles. Color production, a little bit different. You have tends to be colder tones with the Lumia 1520 versus more warmer tones with the Nexus 5. And the brightness output is strong with both, so when it comes to outdoor visibility, it's not that much of a problem. The Nexus 5 set of physical buttons are just raised more than the Lumia 1520 set. So the power button and the volume controls just have a better feel. And on top of that, it's springier too. On the bottom side of both devices, we have their micro USB ports for charging data connectivity. On Nexus 5, you have the grills here for its speaker and microphone. The speaker is positioned in the back side of the Lumia 1520, whereas with the microphone itself, it's a small lip right here towards the bottom edge. Along the top side, we have the 3.5mm headset jack. You have a noise cancellation microphone right up there with the Nexus 5. And the Lumia 1520 packs some additional ones towards the rear. One nice thing about the Lumia 1520 is that it offers expandable storage via micro SD card slot so it can increase its storage capacity. Whereas with the Nexus 5, you're stuck either choosing from 16 or 32 gigabytes from the start. And lastly, we have their cameras. On the Lumia 1520, it really stands out for its 20 megapixel pure view camera. And you could tell it just has a larger size sensor, so it juts out more than the 8 megapixel camera in the Nexus 5. Now, they have very similar qualities. For example, they both feature an aperture of f2.4. They have backside illuminated sensors, optical image stabilization modules, and they both have the ability to shoot 1080p videos. You get dual LED flash in the Lumia 1520 versus a single one in the Nexus 5. Ah oh yes, it's yet another comparison between a Windows Phone device and an Android. This one being Windows Phone 8 with the GDR3 update and the Lumia 1520 versus the most up-to-date version of Android on the Nexus 5. We get that pure Android experience in the form of Android 4.4 KitKat. Microsoft definitely has something good going on with Windows Phone 8, and this, the third screen itself is the first thing you notice here. It really stands out for its animated approach, thanks to those dynamic live tiles. But as a whole, the platform doesn't seem as being complete when compared to Android, and still has some catching up to do in certain categories. 
Meanwhile, Google continues to enhance the Android experience and that's what we see here with the Nexus 5 and its Android 4.4 KitKat experience. It's now more simplified than ever. It doesn't have as much complexity as past Android experiences. On top of that, it just has the total package. It's just a power user's dream and it also features some really neat functions that we really appreciate. Multitasking is handled in the same manner with both devices. With the Lumia 1520, you just hold down the back button from here. We have the mini windows and we can jump in and out of applications. It's very similar here with the Nexus 5, just because we press the multitasking button and we get the same functionality as well. However, the notification system continues to be better with Android just because we can gain access to it anytime by swiping down like so. We have some secondary functions in tow and also connectivity features access as well. Whereas with the Windows Phone 8 experience of the Lumia 1520, we gotta rely on the dynamic live tiles to look and find all those notifications. Sometimes it can be a pretty messy experience just because we gotta look very deeply into each and every one of them. We all know too well that the Google Now service is just far superior than the Bing experience over on the Windows Phone side. And here with the Nexus 5 and KitKat, it's just nice that the service is incorporated into the home screen. And best of all, we can launch the service at any time while at the home screen by actually speaking the key phrase, okay Google. For being very affordable devices, it's very comforting to know that they're both packing the same high-end processor. It's the quad-core 2.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 CPU coupled with 2 GB of RAM and the Adreno 330 GPU. The performance is exquisite here with the Lumia 1520 just because it maintains a good amount of fluidity with various operations and very minimal when it comes to lag. Well, we could actually say the same thing here with the Nexus 5 just because its performance is pretty much on par. Very minimal with slowdown as well and it's just very snappy with all of its operations. As expected, we get nothing but a top-notch web browsing experience on both devices. They feature 4G LT connectivity, so you get fast page loads. On top of that, you have some sharp looking displays, which gives a lot of detail in the pages. They have smooth kinetic scrolling, pinch gestures, and of course, their page renderings instantaneous, so there's a lot to like about both of them. But really something about the Windows Phone 8 music player that gets our attention more. And as far as the audio quality, it's also the Lumia 1520 that has the stronger tones, it's just very weak with the Nexus 5. Out of the box, there's more video codec support with the Lumia 1520, but they both are able to play high definition 1080p videos with little effort, and you can tell, very smooth and sharp looking displays really complement things. Now we're gonna slowly lean towards the Lumia 1520 in this one, just because of the bigger is better approach with the larger display, it just seems more ideal. Seeing that it's more camera centric, we like the camera application with the Lumia 1520 more so than the Nexus 5. Nexus 5 is just pretty basic and dull. Uh, you do have just a few controls that are available to us in different shooting modes. You have panoramic, you have photosphere, you could adjust things like the exposure and the white balance. You also have an HDR mode, but we like the finer control set that we're given with the Lumia 1520. So we can adjust things like the white balance, the ISO, the shutter speed, the exposure and also the focus which is pretty neat and the layout is really nice very similar to a standard camera. Now as far as those shooting modes though you could use separate third-party applications to apply different filters or, or effects or you could just jump into the lenses. Don't count out the Nexus 5 because its 8 megapixel camera definitely takes some sharp looking photos that rivals the quality put out by those 5 megapixel samples from the Lumia 1520. As a whole, they're very pleasing to look at, more than ample for 4x6 printouts. We noticed that colors tend to be a little bit more saturated with the Nexus 5, but when it comes to outdoor shots, they both rival each other. One specific area where the 1520 excels over the Nexus 5 is in the details department, especially with those higher resolution 19 megapixel samples. We're able to get a lot of detail in those shots. For example, here we could see even the finest of print on the, uh, on the video game covers, whereas with the Nexus 5, it just looks a little bit more garbled looking. They kind of match one another under lower lighting situations, which is great, so they're fantastic for that. There's a good balance between them too, so they're properly exposed. They have some nice looking details. Of course, they're diminished compared to their outdoor sunny shots. And as far as their LED flashes, they're both equally as potent, even as much as seven feet away. 
even though it's a strong performer when it comes to still image quality, but when it comes to 1080p high definition video recording quality, it's obviously the Nexus 5 that we choose, which is you know rather rather strange, just because you think that the Lumia 1520 would excel a lot more than the uh, than the Nexus 5, but it doesn't. The biggest thing is just that. The overall presentation and visuals just a lot more subdued. The details aren't quite as sharp or clear compared to that put out by the Nexus 5. Neither handset actually has an outstanding call quality just because their earpieces are just super weak. So that means we're required to jam them very close to our ear. And as far as their speakerphone quality is concerned, the Lumia 1520 tends to produce hollow sounding voices versus some crackling that's evident with the Nexus 5. The most underwhelming thing about the Nexus 5 is its battery life. It's packing a 2300 milliamp hour one, which pales into comparison with the 3400 milliamp hour one stuffed inside the Lumia 1520. And with that, we get a lot better battery life with the Lumia 1520. Heavy usage permits us close to a day and a half with a full charge, whereas with the Nexus 5, we can get close to 12 hour mark before we're tapped out. Now this is where it gets kind of interesting just because it's going to depend on how you pick up these devices. If you're more about getting it with a contract, there's no question you want to stick with the Lumia 1520 just because at $100 with a two-year contract, you're getting a lot of value for your money. On top of that, it's a well-rounded handset. It's big, large, and packing some really nice hardware. On the other side of the spectrum, if you're going to go with the no contract route, picking up something outright, you're going to want to go with the Nexus 5 because at $350, it's far more valuable than the $550 cost associated with the Lumia 1520. And when you think about the diversity you get out of the experience, specifically Android 4.4 KitKat, it really shows it's worth over the Windows Phone 8 experience of the Lumia 1520. So if you guys want to learn more about either devices, you could check out our website, phonerena.com. John V, thanks for watching.